Now we'll go from one president to another. President Donald Trump. You can't do stand-up comedy without mentioning that button. So Americans need to be educated that whenever they elect a president, they're picking one person, one individual, and entrusting that person with the launch codes for over 4,000 nuclear devices. With enough firepower, by the way, to destroy this world that we live on 20 times over. So choose wisely. <laughs> Because he know he won't use it. But we hope he won't use it. <laughs> Actually, at this point, we prayed about the word use it. <laughs> but don't you, don't you feel uneasy? I, I feel uneasy. I don't want to feel uneasy about it. It's like, it's like when that drunk uncle who you suspect is a pedophile stumbles into the living room with an old rifle. Hey, no man! <laughs> hey, no, I look you back and look what I found. Hey, no, come and play it to me. Very good. Hey, come, sit up and let's go back. Put a pump back up. <laughs> you just don't have the peace of mind anymore, right? I'll prove it to you. Watch this. I didn't play that. Ding, ding. I love it. Love it. I'm sitting there tweeting. Bing, bing, bing. Press a button. Bing, 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 bing. We have there. Bing, 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 bing. You know, the old days, bing, bong. It's like puppets. Bing, bing. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, 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 bang, bang, bong. I was imitating puppets and I said, maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. Bye, bing, bing. That's the end of it. This mother has 4,000 nuclear weapons! <laughs> Uncle Nikki's lap doesn't look that bad anymore. <laughs> now we'll analyze. Is Trump really a bad president for the US? Remember, Trump believes that America is the greatest country in the world. He believes that God made it stop raining when he started speaking. And also, he's geographically challenged. He ordered some 50 odd missiles to hit Syria, and he goes and says this. Watch this. I was sitting at the table, we had finished dinner, we're now having dessert, and we had the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake that you've ever seen, and President Xi was enjoying it. So what happens, as I said, we've just launched 59 missiles heading to Iraq. Well, we were heading to Syria. Yes, heading toward Syria. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> if you send a cake to someone, you won't forget to who. This bugger sent 59 missiles and forgot where. something that all of us in this room, everyone actually, frankly thought was impossible. He made George W. Bush look like a normal person. <laughs> Remember George W. Bush? Who had the vocabulary skills of a dyslexic monkey. <laughs> he is now hailed as a great orator. Because when Trump speaks, you wish there was a dyslexic monkey around to say a few words. So some time ago, we all started comparing Trump's cabinet with Obama's. Hmm? Now guys, in case you didn't know, Obama's cabinet had Nobel Prize winners, MIT professors, Stanford researchers. Trump's cabinet has worms. <laughs> White, old, rich men. And of course, oh there, there. and of course one rich white woman, and one rich black man who anyway thinks he's white. <laughs> Of course, I won't, I won't blame Trump. You can't really blame him. No matter if I was president of this country, you will be guaranteed that my cabinet will have its fair share of... Yes. Burgers! Yes! <laughs> I would say like I had a burger president. <laughs> What's the first thing you do? <laughs> All correct answers. First thing. Entertainment budget will be doubled. <laughs> no, triple it, triple it, man, triple it. And have about 50 million in the EPF also. You don't know what the EPF is, no? Emergency party fund. <laughs> All 
dinners with visiting dignitaries would turn into giant parties. Four o'clock in the morning, the Chinese Prime Minister is there, cocked on his mind, <laughs> shirt unbuttoned up to here, with his arm around the American ambassador, singing <laughs> You are a rubbery man. I rub you. We no fight no more. Burger President will probably do more for world peace than the entire United Nations put together. So, not like we Sri Lankans can really afford to criticize, not like our cabinet is chock a block full of intellectual heavyweights. No, 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 no. So, to the intelligentsia of America, Trump's cabinet is the ultimate, fuck you! It's like you're at the Oscars and they're about to give out the Oscar for Best Actress and the presenter goes, and now in the category of Best Actress, the nominations include Dame Helen Mirren, Julia Roberts and Meryl Streep. And the Oscar for Best Actress goes to, for her role in When Dreams Come Through, part seven, Mia Khalifa! Hello, Mia Khalifa, come on down, honey, go. Oh, don't slip on everything, woo, careful. And then Helen turns to Julia and goes, Julia, we just lost to a porn star. What the fuck? <laughs> By the way, hey, too many of y'all in the back know who Mia Khalifa is, huh? <laughs> Putting those high speed internet connections to good use. <laughs> ah! On a side note, I don't know if y'all know this, but Sri Lanka has stopped the world. <laughs> Several times now for one thing. What is it? What? <laughs> so you all know, yes, searching for sex on the internet. Five years. Five years in a row we have topped the world. We now lead the world in three things. Tea, premium lingerie, and watching porn online. <laughs> so great campaign for the tourist board would be just an image of a model wearing lingerie, sipping tea, watching porn. <laughs> Miracle of Asia, come check us out. <laughs> of course, the Western province led the way in this, huh? But can you all tell me which city had the most searches? Which top the list? Which city? Way to put yourselves on the map. At this very moment, there is a group of porn industry executives in California sitting around the table going, guys, settle down now, settle down, Bob, settle down, listen here. We gotta align more of our content with the city of Homagum. <laughs> we've, uh, we've got a good base there. Let's name our next film the Horny Housewives of Homagum. Starring Mia Khalifa. So, coming back to coming back to Trump's cabinet now. Now comparing anything of Trump's to Obama's is unfair to both of them. We'll take the first ladies. So Michelle Obama is an intelligent, educated woman that went to Princeton and then Harvard Law. And to millions of young women around the world, she's a role model. Melania is a model. <laughs> that's that song. <laughs> so I would, I would like to send out a message to the President of the United States from me, Dominic Kelly. Because I feel and I'm most qualified in this entire auditorium to say anything because at least I played a fictitious president for about eight years. <laughs> so now, ah, sorry, sorry. Are there any ex-presidents here? No. <laughs> Y'all not here then? How many do we have now? Two. We have two, no? At the moment, two, no? Not in bad thing, right? okay. <laughs> If I make this joke in 2020, there'll be three. <laughs> So, 
Now that I'm an ex-president, of course, I also love grabbing a mic and saying a few words every chance I get. <laughs> but at least my people paid to be here. <laughs> I'm on a stage, not hanging out of a window. <laughs> so here's a message from His Glorious Honorable Excellency Chamin the Bussadilla to another fictitious... to Donald Trump. <laughs> ശ്രീലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാലാ
I had to cut through at the plaza on a normal Friday night. I know what's up for in the morning. Hello, Aspen, all right. Now I'm sitting on the toilet, pushing out with all my mind. Ooh. It's the way it left me. It's a feeling like this. It's centrifugal motion. It's perpetual bliss. It's that pivotal moment. It's uh, unsinkable. This shit, this shit. I'm flushable. This shit, this shit. Conversation with myself Don't you ever eat there again All I wanted was a cut through With some chicken And not this burn Now the neighborhood is ruined That goes away my pain It's the way it left me It's a feeling like this It's centrifugal motion It's perpetual bliss It's that pivotal moment Ah, unsinkable This shit, this shit Unflushable This shit, this shit And you can sit in the moonlight On the rooftop under the sky Oh, You can sit with the window open While the rain comes flowing inside Oh, You can sit in sweet slow motion Let everything slide you can see it flowing, you can see it flowing. It's the way it left me, it's a feeling like this. It's centrifugal motion, it's perpetual bliss. It's that pivotal moment, it's uh, unsinkable. This shit, this shit, unflushable. This shit, this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause to our front of house and backstage crew. <laughs> to our backstage and crew managers, sit out to the meeting. And last but not least, our playwright and director, Mr. Feroz Kamadi. Yeah. I am Dabin Dibuchay Ratna. I'm Ifaz bin Jamil. I am Dino Carrera. And I am Gehan Block. And I'm Dominic Keller. And we are Freddy. Woo! And you just watch Freddy Strikes Back. Thank you.